Hello everyone, welcome back. Oracle Integration Cloud Interview Questions. Let us look into question number 26 to 30 in this video. What is lookup? We create lookup when we want to create reusable tables so that we can map values across the systems. So that means we go for lookups when we want to create reusable tables. So we can use same lookup table in multiple integrations to get data values based on the source data. So when we want to get something from lookup, we need to send input values. For example, you can map country codes, city codes, currency codes, and so on. So these are the real time examples. Let's say you are building an integration between Fusion application and Salesforce application. So let's say from Fusion, we are getting country codes. That means for United States, it is sending as USA. For India, it is sending as IN. But Salesforce is expecting full name. That means it is expecting United States and India. So that means, you know, here we need to map something. When we get USA from Fusion, we need to send United States to Salesforce. So in, in this type of requirements, we need to create a lookup. So there in the lookup, we need to have a two fields. One is country code and another one is country name. So when we send country code to the table, we can get country name. When we send country name to the table, we can get country code. So we can use that in both ways. So that is the use of lookup. What actions can be performed on lookup? We can create a lookup. We can create a new lookup. We can clone a lookup. That means based on the existing lookup, you can create a new lookup. Means you can clone a lookup. You can delete the existing lookup and you can update a lookup. We can export a lookup and import a lookup. That means, let's say you are working in a test instance and after all, you want to migrate that to production. So you can export a lookup from the test instance and you can import into production instance when you want to do it. So these are the actions that we can perform on a lookup. What mapper function can be used to get a lookup value in mapper builder. So this is certification question also, and we can expect this in interviews too. So what mapper function can be used to get the lookup value in a mapper builder? So we need to use lookup value function. Syntax is same, L-O-O-K-U-P, capital V, A-L-U-E lookup value. What is lookup value syntax and explain? So what is lookup value syntax? You can see this lookup value of DVM location, SRC column, SRC value, target column, default value. So this is the syntax of lookup value. So what is DVM location? DVM location means here we need to pass a lookup table path. SRC column means the source column name. SRC value means we need to pass an input to the lookup, means source value. In our example, we need to send country code, means USA, we need to pass that here. And target column means the target column here, country name as per our example. So what we are expecting from the lookup table as a response, we need to send that. And default value. That means when there is no value 
select it based on the input from the lookup table. When we set some default value, that will be returned. When there is nothing, the default value will be returned. Refer below lookup table and write syntax to get country name using country code. This is one of the main question in interviews. Not exactly like this. They'll give some different tables and you know sometimes they just say it. Like, can you write a syntax? This is the table that I have. Can you write a syntax on a paper? So we need to write the syntax and show them and we need to explain that. So that is, you know, one of the interview question. So here we have a table with two columns, code, name. Table name is country. And table path you can see here, tenant, resources, DVMs, country. And it is having two columns, code, name. So US means US is a code and name is United States. IN is code and name is India. CA is code and Canada is name. So based on this, we need to write syntax. So syntax lookup values, DVM colon lookup value. And here we need to provide DVM location. DVM location means this is the table path lookup table path and source column means you know we would like to send country code as an input means code is a source so here we need to provide source column name and then source value means this is dynamic value that we need to pass but here for example us Target column means what we are expecting. Name is a target column. Means when we send US, we will expect as we'll expect United States as output. So default value. When there is nothing, means let's say I'm sending US, Australia, but this is not configured in this table. So in that case, no data found response will come back. So this is the syntax. Thank you everyone. We'll meet in the next video. Good luck.